Resident Evil. Haha! <laughs> Haha! <laughs> Tricked you. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica with Mioix Fu. And we have a crest to uh to use. In this Oh! Did I not kill these guys? Guess not. That's good. I mean that's fine. It's not good. But I can deal with them. Okay, he's dead. He's bleeding. Uh, problem is, the crest is right in there, so I do have to deal with them. You dead? You're dead. Okay. Did I... Uh, okay, because I've gone through a couple of playthroughs of where we are so far. So I can't remember what I've killed all the time. I think the way I did this is I kited him out of the area and I got the note that was in here. Anyway. Blue window go plate time. Oh yeah. Oh boy. That was kind of what I expected, to be honest. I didn't expect the guillotine, but zombies, sure. Oh. I mean, it's a Resident Evil game. Of course I expected zombies, I mean... What, are you crazy? It's like saying, like, I, I went to a water park, park and I didn't expect to get wet. Ah! Really burning through this crossbow ammo, but... <sighs> That's a way to do it! <laughs> I didn't even think, like, oh! Zombie! Shoot him! I didn't even think, like, oh. Explosive barrel. Or just barrel in general. Maybe it's explosive. Shoot that. It just happened. Thank you, game, for giving me that. I'm gonna leave that other one, because it'll probably come in handy once I go through this gate or something. Or, uh, maybe not. I, I thought it was just gonna be, like, a... A regular gate or something. Aho! Aho! I see where we are. Alright, there. Wait a minute. I'm a bit confused now. Something is stuck. The door won't open. I know. How do I get it unstuck? That's what I'm trying to figure out. See the pistol ammo? I was confused a second ago as to how to get to it. We'll get it in a second. I get up here. Or don't. That's cool, too. Oh, okay, there we go. Push. Wait a minute. Okay, no, that, that area is safe. There's another door. I was like, wait a minute. Aren't there going to be zombies behind there? But no. Alright, so. We have to... Ooh, can I... Oh, I was hoping I could equip the lockpick. Oh, that's too bad. Anyway, we got a chest here, so I can open the dur aluminum case. So let's do that right away. Uh, combine? No. Okay. Use. Okay. Check. Yes. Use the lockpick. Okay. There we go. What do we got now? Bow gunpowder. Nice. So we're gonna combine that with bow gun darts. Perfect. Wonder if we should even take out that rock snake or just keep running by him. Hmm. Don't know. Seems to me we could do either. <laughs> All right. Now, what was it that I wanted to do with the? Uh... I was thinking about, uh, we need to copy that ant, probably, the jeweled ant, to fit to, to get to into the indentations. Uh, maybe Leon's replied to our email. No, I guess not. Alright, so we got nothing to do in there right now. Um, let's go back. 
I want to go into the building that we passed because I was like, I don't really know why we passed it. It's just I, I kind of wanted to find out was what was behind the gate first. All right. <laughs> Dumb zombies can't come back out to attack me. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for something bad to happen and be like, Oh no, I've been the fool this entire time. Ooh, spooky. Is this the sick bay or something? Looks like it. Maybe we'll get some medicine. I see a camera. I will indeed take the first aid spray. That'll be very handy. Oh, we can pick up all the, the items that we left in the, uh, in the, what you call it, in the metal detector as well. It appears he has been an anatomized. Anatomized? Well, I know what lobotomized mean, but what's anatomized? Because lobotomized is when you cut out a piece of the brain, or the brain entirely. Correct? Yes, a body bag has been left there. It's something's gonna come out and attack me. I I understand that. Body bags are piled up there as well. All right, I'm gonna go check the other room, cause that seems like a much safer idea. Oh God, was a die the fool? Oh come on. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Anatomist note. There's a demon in my mind. I can't control the fierce impulses that the demon sometimes drives me to act upon. It is a brutal ceremony. With the demon next to me, I enjoy watching people agonize in pain, screaming and convulsing repeatedly as they die. Now, you know what? I shouldn't do like a, 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 an angry voice. I should be like, but Sir Alfred was kind to me, enough to acknowledge me, and has given me the facilities, chemicals, and equipment necessary to study everything. I must never betray Sir Alfred's kindness. It is especially critical that no one discovers the sacred place that only he and I know about. I swear, the basement of this medical building would be kept secret. That's why I put it in this diary that anybody could come in and take a look at. Of course, I keep the key to the sacred place with me at all times. Even if an outsider sees it, they will never be able to tell that it is the key. I must remember that my life ends when I lose Sir Alfred's trust. So we're looking for something that is a key, but that doesn't look like a key. Ah! Uh, so we're putting an eye in to that body structure, I'm guessing. Seems like an easy key to find out about. But honestly, I knew that was happening, especially with the camera angle and everything. It's just like, I'm like, I didn't expect it until I came back in, so... Oh boy, getting good with this, with this bow gun. Yes, I will take the red herb, I'm gonna combine it right away. Alright. Ah, the crematorium. Six. It really varies how much it takes to kill him. A sturdy, well-made chain. A handcuff is attached at the end. Why they need this in a crematorium, I'll never know. Uh, co uh, especially with all the other torture devices. I mean, what's with this spike? Crazy, right? I mean, I couldn't. I could. I would never believe that Alfred would do something like torture people or just the, take them apart for fun or whatever. He doesn't seem like the kind of person that would sponsor a modern-day Mengel. <laughs> There's a strangely shaped chair. That 
It's a very... Well, I can tell it's one of those chairs that... that you sit in when you get your hair curled or something, but I mean... It's crazy, right? <laughs> no, it looks like an electric chair for small people. Alright, so check this. Yes, we're gonna use the lockpick. Ooh, what is that? An enhancement part for that gun we have. Nice! We are in- no, no, no. We are indeed going to enhance our pistol with that. To make it look none, none the same. Alright. Okay, I guess it looks a little bit the same. Okay, so question is, can we... Uh, no, I'm gonna leave the... No, wait, there's the thing coming out of the bag. No, I was thinking, like, how do we tell whether it's on auto or not? Like, is it on auto now, or is it on... Wait a minute. Or is it on manual? Wait a minute. Oh, I was like, what is she holding on to? I guess she's holding on to that little bit of metal in the in the in the front or something. All right, so let's get ready to kill this guy. Let's see what he is. They're just all in there having a party. Just being like, "Man, we were so lucky we weren't actually dead or zombies." Whew. I thought we were goners for a second, being in those body bags and everything. Feasting on the other body? Yep, there you go. Oh, it is the doctor as well. Cool. Oh no! A zombie! What'll I do? It's not like he's like any other zombie. Oh, get off. No, seriously, why is this... Why do we have the, the music? Okay, I guess it was set to manual. Like, it is a little more... It is a little stronger, but... But that's it. He's down. Oh, well... Oh. Stay down. <laughs> there we go. Got an eyeball. Well, a glass eye, okay. I was hoping it was a real eyeball. Darn. But I guess he would have eaten that. I don't have the knife to cut open his belly or anything either. <laughs> Ew. Getting morbid. <laughs> Can I check that again? I want to just see the... Statue. Ooh. Just the way his eyes are glimmering, it looks like it's following me with its eyes. Ugh. Alright, well, we're gonna check the basement next episode. I need a save. After getting this this gun part, and after that, that intense boss fight. Alright, so I'm going to see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica with Mio X Fu. And we'll tackle whatever's downstairs. We'll see. And then head back to the mansion, probably. Alright, so let's, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Just gonna get this ink ribbon... Drop that off. What are we doing for us? Caution. Uh, I should probably use my herbs, but... Ooh, actually, you know what? Because this is a, a, a triumph. A triumph of the human spirit. 
<laughs> because this is a triumph of man over machine. Oh god! Wasn't I the fool? <laughs> no, I was, I was gonna be like, I'm just gonna run into this room quick and grab all the, my items from the metal detector because obviously there won't be any zombies right next to the door. Again, wasn't I played for the fool? Nope, oh, one more. Two more. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. No. In fact, I will take every metal. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> I will take every metallic item that I have from the security box. Just like that. <laughs> Ooh, actually, you know what's a good idea? Shut all those zombies in there. There's probably like one zombie in there being like, Oh, what's going on? Yeah, I think you are going to probably be using that ga that machine once. Anyway, we should never have to re return to this room again, according to Claire. So, yes! Got all my shit back. Well, yes, that's what I want to do. Okay. Right, see you guys next time.